Now that we have a better orientation to the community builder, let's do a deep dive on some of these components that are offered out of the box. So before I do uh, a deep dive on these components, you can see that Salesforce has out of the box um, several components and several categories of components. Uh, but one thing you might not have known is that if you go under settings, click advanced, um, for the components panel, uh, if you tick this box here, you'll be able to show even more components. Uh, but depending on the page type, some components uh, just won't work unless you manually configure them. So uh, with that warning taken into consideration, uh, we're going to tick this box anyway, and then close this, and then open up our components. And we'll see now that we have that check mark ticked. Um, we have lots and lots and lots and lots of more components. So the first thing that we're going to try and explore out of these all these sections is we'll start at the very top. So let's look at analytics. Let's do a deep dive on the analytics category of components. So the first one is dashboard. So let's just drag that into our home page. All right, dashboard. See a dashboard with Salesforce data. Uh, looks like I need to actually have a dashboard. Um, but in terms of configuration, it looks like I'm able to configure the height of the dashboard. Um, but beyond that, doesn't look like much else that I can do. Oh, I can duplicate the component. Nice. I can delete the component. And it looks like I can sign a specific audience. Oh, I don't have an audience set up yet, but it looks like I might be able to personalize um, this dashboard to be displayed for a specific audience versus, let's say, if I were to duplicate this dashboard, um, I could personalize dashboard B, call it, uh, for a different audience. So if we extend the height here, I just want to see what that does. Oh, nothing. So, and that's probably because I don't have a dashboard yet. So there's the dashboard component. How about dashboard list? Oh, looks like access to this list view isn't supported. Contact your Salesforce admin for help. Okay, good to know. So dashboard list is not supported. How about Einstein? Looks like I need to pick a dashboard before I can use any of these. And that might be the recurring theme here. What about a report? Oh, okay. It looks like I need to create a report in Salesforce to view a report, which makes sense. How about the report list? Oh, nice. Okay, so it looks like I have been able to bring in a report list, um, but unfortunately it doesn't look like there's very many properties here that I can configure and it doesn't look like any of this is clickable. Uh, what about the report summary? Report summary requires me to bring in a report ID. So, okay, fair enough. So the first one in terms of analytics has to do with the reporting and dashboard capabilities out of the box in Salesforce that are native and I haven't created any reports so therefore the analytics category is useless to me so um, in the next video I'll explore cases